So hello everyone. My name is Zhong Jian Lan. I'm the CTO of Harmony Blockchain. I'm very excited to have you guys join our Hack the Horizon Hackathon and also attend this workshop for me to talk about what Harmony Protocol is like. So in this workshop, I'm going to talk about what's the main feature of Harmony or what's, what is Harmony uh, Blockchain. And also, uh, I'm going to talk about why or how Harmony is sharded uh, blockchain. Also, the main uh, consensus protocol we use, which is the FBFT consensus. I'm going to briefly introduce it. Uh, also, the effective proof of stake staking model. I'm going to talk about it uh, in the uh, second half. And last, I'm going to mention uh, the distributed randomness generation protocol, which we'll use for the resharding which will uh, guarantee the security of the Harmony uh, network. So first of all, uh, what is Harmony? Harmony is a sharded proof of stake blockchain. Right now in our mainnet, we have four shards uh, running consensus in parallel. And in total, there could be a thousand validators uh, running, uh, reaching consensus uh, and producing blocks for, for the mainnet. So um, in our mainnet, uh, the consensus is called FBFT, which uh, can produce blocks every uh, um, within three seconds. Right now, the mainnet produces blocks every five seconds, but the blocks can be confirmed basically within three seconds. And we're going to um, upgrade the mainnet soon to make the block time uh, three seconds. And since we use the BFT-based consensus, uh, the blocks have instant finality. So once a block is produced, it has uh, immediate finality. This will give you uh, give the user uh, like a very good user experience because when they submit a transaction, the transaction can be confirmed uh, very fast. So Harmony blockchain is also uh, EVM and Solidity compatible, which will make uh, all the uh, Ethereum developer uh, very few at home because um, you can basically port existing uh, Ethereum contract very easily to Harmony. And all our toolings and kind of data model is very similar to the existing Ethereum model. So of course, you know, we have the Horizon Bridge, which uh, provides interoperability with the Ethereum blockchain. So you can move, asset, move assets back and forth from Ethereum to Harmony, uh, just within like seconds. And uh, Harmony blockchain uh, has this uh, unpredictable and unbiasable randomness generation protocol, which can generate um, very kind of reliable and secure random number that can be used for both application and also uh, which will be used for the resharding of random resharding for the network. And last but not least, our network is uh, scalable and efficient so that it can support very low transaction fees. So basically, you don't need to worry about um, any um, concern about transaction fees because any transaction in our network basically costs close to nothing. So first of all, Harmony is a sharded blockchain. And... Um, there are three parts about the sharding harmony. So first is the state sharding. Basically means each shard uh, store, set, store a separate kind of state database. All the uh, account data and smart contract data are separate uh, in different shards. So they can kind of uh, run consensus separately. And uh, the network is also sharded. So each shard has separate set of validators that runs consensus and produce new blocks. So each shard that produces new blocks in parallel. And last, of course, the transactions are also sharded. This means each of the transaction is only meant for a single shard to process. And uh, when a transaction uh, is submitted, user uh, or the DAP need to specify which shard this transaction is meant to be processed in with a shard ID uh, kind of field specified in the transaction. 
So first, the state is sharded. So that comes to the uh, account model uh, of a sharded account model. So in Harmony, since it's EVM compatible and also um, Solidity compatible, so the account model is actually similar to Ethereum. We have two type of accounts. First is user-owned accounts, and the user can have balance and send any uh, token transfer transactions. And the second is contract accounts. This is the any of the Solidity contract or any uh, DAP that's based on contract account. So the uh, account is uniquely identified by uh, back 32 address. And the format is um, O-N-E-1 and fo followed by 38 uh, char characters. So uh, user account and contract account all share the same uh, kind of address format. So for a user account, um, for a single user account, actually you can have balances in different shards. So that's how the kind of um, the balances or the user account states are sharded. So here in, in this um, example, a user can have 10.8 something token, and those token, like 9.8 of them exist in shard zero and 0.99 uh, exists in shard two. So the user can move that balance within shard zero and within shard two, and also across shard. You can move the 9.8 um, one token to any other shard with our cross shard transaction. So for smart contract uh, account, it exists only a single shard. So if you deploy any um, uh, smart contract, you have to specify which shard it should exist. For example, shard zero or shard one, and um, that uh, smart contract will only, only exist in that shard. And the storage and all the state also only exist in that specific shard. So for the network sharding, um, we basically use this uh, random randomness based uh, sharding. So all the validators will be assigned to each of the shard um, based on this random number so that we can guarantee the security of the network. And after the validators are sharded into each shard uh, and form a committee of each of the shard, uh, the committee uh, in the shard will run FBFD consensus in parallel and produce blocks in parallel in each shard. So I already uh, mentioned the transaction, also need to specify which shard they belong to with the shard ID field. Um, that's just, so if you think about a single shard, it's basically very similar kind of concept as a non-sharded blockchain. So if you move, want to move assets across shard, you have to specify another field. It's called the two shard ID. So here we support these cross shard transactions and the cross shard transactions are, have the feature of eventual atomicity, which means um, the cross shard transaction guarantees atomicity um, eventually, which, which basically means if the user want to uh, complete the cross shard transaction, as long as that transaction is processed in the first shard, it can be eventually, uh, or is guaranteed to be eventually processed by the second shard. So that's why it's called the eventual atomicity. Uh, since we use uh, BFT-based consensus and have instant block finality, the latency for cross shard is also very fast. You only take two block time to confirm the cross shard transaction. You see the first shard, you to, need to process the transaction and you produce a receipt and the receipt will be sent to the destination shard. And then the destination shard will uh, pack it in the, another block. And then the quad shard transaction uh, is basically fully uh, confirmed. That, that just takes two block time. 
So right now we only support uh, cross shard tra transfer of one tokens. Uh, we're still working on the cross shard smart contract um, communication functionalities. So the consensus we used for Harmony is called FBFT consensus, which is um, uh, specifically designed for this fast finality and also scalability. So right now each shard in our mainnet contains 250 uh, validator slots. And uh, all of these validators runs FBFT, FBFT consensus and produce blocks within three seconds. So um, we achieve this by improving the traditional BFT consensus uh, by adding this BLS aggregated signature functionality. Uh, and also we employ uh, pipelining technique to optimize the network load and also optimize the block time. So the BLS signature is uh, we used, or the BLS curve we used is called a uh, BLS twelve three eight one, which is kind of a commonly adopted curve across the industry. And actually, uh, the Ethereum two point to be um, uh, Ethereum two point team is also using the same curve. So we we will have easier interoperability with these new blockchains, including Ethereum 2.0 uh, in the future. So since we are BFT-based consensus, uh, there are actually no forks. So you can have a ease of kind of peace of mind when using a uh, Harmony blockchain. Once your transaction is packed in a new, newly confirmed block, by confirm, it means uh, more than two thirds of the validator already signed on this block. Once the block is confirmed, it has instant finality and this block can never be reverted. So that's, that's how we achieve this very fast block finality. So uh, since we're uh, POS uh, blockchain, the validators need to stake one token to participate in the validating process. And the staking model we uh, created is called effective proof of stake. Uh, EPUS, we call them, we call this EPUS. E EPUS model is specifically designed for sharded blockchain so that the single shard attack scenario can be avoided. So in EPUS, the big stakers are incentivized to cut their stake into small pieces. And those stakes will be randomly assigned to multiple shards. So basically big stakers need to run um, multiple kind of nodes in each of, in, in more than one shard. Um, so with this mechanism, the big stakers, um, we can, with this mechanism, we can avoid stake centralization. So think about if, if the big stakers put all their stake in one shard, then it can easily overwhelm the single shard and uh, easily overtake the single shard. So EPUS avoid stake centralization and uh, prevent the single shard attack. EPUS at the same time also support stake delegation, slashing and uh, reward compounding. So last, um, the sharding is based on a random process, right? Because you want to um, make the sharding process unpredictable and unbiasable so that the attackers cannot manipulate to join only one shard and attack or overtake that one shard with a lot of stake. So with that, we need a very secure and very um, unpredictable and unbiasable randomness generation protocol. So we have this distributed randomness generation protocol that's based on VRF and VDF. This protocol uh, is very scalable. It can produce um, unpredictable and unbiasable random number within uh, just like um, a couple of blocks. 
And uh, this random number uh, will be used for the sharding of the validators. And it can also be used for uh, the applications that's built on Harmony. So specifically, this protocol relies on VRF, which will contribute the basic pieces of the eventual of the uh, eventual kind of randomness, and also employ uh, VDF, which is a verifiable delay function, to ensure the unbiasability uh, part of the protocol. Because without the VDF, there is a possibility that uh, the attacker or anyone who don't think the randomness result is favorable to them, they can either withdraw from the protocol or they can stall the protocol to basically bias the result. But with the VDF, so the VDF is used to delay the revelation of the eventual uh, kind of randomness, random number. With this, the attacker will not, will not know the eventual result before he has to commit uh, its, its part of the randomness. So in this way, he will never know where, what to do to make the eventual result to be favorable to uh, themselves. So that's how we achieve this unbiasability uh, of this uh, random number. So that's mostly about uh, how the protocol works in a kind of in a nutshell. There are definitely a lot of uh, small details about epoch transition, about how um, kind of uh, the EPOS model works, and all of that actually exists uh, mostly in code. Uh, if anyone have any um, curiosity, any questions, feel free to pin me in our Discord, which is harmony.one slash Discord. And last, since you guys are here to build, so we actually have uh, all kinds of toolings and um, uh, other stuff for you guys to use. We have this JS SDK uh, for any uh, app, uh, for anyone to build app, uh, web applications. We also have CLI tools to easily write, uh, write a script to interact with the, our chain. Of course, since you guys are here to build um, cross-chain applications, we have the Horizon Bridge SDK. Uh, we put, uh, I put uh, the links here. We also have different kinds of uh, explorers, including Block Explorer, Staking Explorer, and also our uh, externally community uh, initiated explorers. We also have all kinds of wallets, especially uh, Chrome extension kind of based uh, wallet, such as uh, One Wallet, Math Wallet and all other uh, mobile wallets such as Trust Wallet for you guys to integrate. So that's uh, about the nutshell kind of introduction of Harmony Protocol. Uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, have a basic understanding after this workshop. And if you have more questions, definitely we can talk more deeply in our uh, Discord or in Telegram. And I'm looking, really looking forward to all these uh, great applications you guys gonna build using Harmony blockchain with uh, this three second finality and low transaction costs. I believe this kind, this, all these applications coming out of our hackathon can really provide good user experience and also really solve real world problems. So let's build. <laughs>